Warning, this video may cause me to scream, yell, or cry, and therefore lead me to run out of my room pissing my pants. Do not do well with scary things, even the witch in The Little Mermaid gave me nightmares. But if you get some sick enjoyment from watching me suffer through this video, please like and subscribe, and for you the viewer, I will try to refrain from rage quitting like a little bitch. Furthermore, enjoy the video. What's going on, beauty faces? I'm playing again another episode of Outlast DLC. Still in my underwear and with a shirt that has a giant hole in it, and also my bedroom has not been cleaned, so judge me as much as you want. I don't give no damn. So, apparently I'm here... And this is like near the beginning of the very first game. Um, so going down the stairs, I haven't done anything but looked around in the last episode. So Eddie saw. Oh my goodness. This guy was in a wheelchair. Oh my word. Mr. Park. <laughs> How the what? fuck are you still alive? <sighs> Let's make a deal. Oh. You help me. I'll huh. help you. God. This is I'm stuck. Well, I'm gonna give you guys a little heads up if you guys have just joined me now. This is the prick that sent me to just be a, a basically a trial patient. What a dick. Watch the very first or second episode. It's just oh my god, Jimmy Blair. Yeah, supervisor. Supervisor a man who could see me skin salted and raped for promotion. For yeah, absolutely. Injured, dying, if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him. Really, I am. But there's no way in hell he stopped me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Man, this guy is such a prick. Uh, help me up. Please? I, you know what? If I go past here, you're going to get me. Yeah. No. After all this? No one can know. No one. Yes. Again. Wreck his, wreck his butthole. <laughs> Gross. I'm bleeding. I got stabbed. I don't know which... If he had AIDS, I have AIDS now. This is the... This has got to be the last episode. Get up, man. Lisa's... You're so close. Get up. Don't be a dick. Just get up and leave. Just get the F out of here. It's so beautiful. The ins and outs of this game. The beginning, the end. You get to see the craziness from the start, how dark it is, and how bright and beautiful it is now. Wow, look at this place. So you start off going over there. If you guys, you guys honestly... You've got to play this game. The military must have come and helped me. You get to see the different things. And here it is. The vehicle in which I drove in on the start of this game. The start of Outlast. What? Let's get the F out of here. Am I controlling this? I'm not controlling this. He is. He's totally controlling this. Go, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You press that button. It's not going back, Mr. Park. What? There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Merkel. Mm-hmm. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, they'll be nothing to murk off the ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. Wow. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. What? But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. Let me just give you an understanding here, guys. You, at the beginning of the game, you captured all this jazz. You sent off an email saying this place is fucked up. And now you're outside. You have this video camera of all this evidence. But it's the right thing to do. And the one girl... Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Is the person that you've been trying to get back to, Lisa. Is it worth it? 
Did I sacrifice my own life to save potential others? Everyone's gonna click upload. I mean, that's a stupid question. It's a game. Fudge! Holy damn! Red barrel. Crushed it again, sir. Crushed it freaking again. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Such a good game. The DLC, as I said in the previous episode, is not um, it's not an after well, I mean it is an after effect, but it's a prequel as well. You get to see it happening at the same time. There's my achievement whistleblower. Hundred. Holy crap, that's good. Um, you get to see both sides of the story at the same time, basically, from two different perspectives. You get to see the different kind of bad guys that are in both that that burning chapel. Holy, blew my mind. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. Good game, guys. I would suggest if you guys want to play this game, go ahead and download it. It is scary as shit. But you think about it this way. You get past it. You understand the situations that you're going through. So leaving for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this situation, make sure you guys leave a like down below. And if you guys did not, then tell me why. Tell me what game else you want me to play for a jump scare horror type game. I don't enjoy demonic type situations, even though this one was crazy. I just heard that it had a good story, which it did. I'm going to be looking. So guys, be good. Make good choices in life and do what you gotta do in your own life to make yourself happy because that is super important. And I'm gonna let these credits roll out if you guys wanna see it. If not, then you can just, you know, do what you gotta do, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, take care. Bye. Thank you